What's up, everybody? It's Afro DJ Mac here with another two-minute Ableton Live tip. Last time we talked about creating a project default that will open every time you open live, and this time I want to show you how to make your own templates. If you open up your Ableton Live library, there's a folder called Templates. And this is really handy. Ableton comes with a bunch of uh, prepackaged templates, so I'll open one here. It's a four-track channel strip. Um, notice it's got four tracks, it's got, you know, the plug-in, whatever you might have to set up. You can save your own in here. You're not just limited to the ones they have here, and you can make as many as you want. So the way we do this is, let's just uh, pretend I want this to be my template here. All you have to do is save as, and select your live library, and save it in that templates folder. So we'll call this, whatever, 222. Save and you notice 222 pops up over here and you can do this as many times as you want the advantage of doing it this way is that when you open up a new project using that it creates a new project called untitled so every time you save it will prompt you to create a new live project folder which is really handy you won't ever save over this as long as it's, as it's in the template folder Another advantage is you can take these, suppose I'm working on this track, I got something going, it's fresh, it's new, and maybe I want to drop like part of my template in there. And I have this one set up for my Nintendo, For it's got MIDI routing and all kinds of things going on there that I don't feel like setting up every time, and also I'm not going to need in every project. All I need to do is just drag that into this project here, and that template file is now a part of my old project, which is really handy. Um, and you can do that for as many tracks as you want or in this case I just have one as a microphone setup. One way I like to treat my vocals, a bunch of effects here. This way I don't have to set this up every single time I want to have it in my track. So this is a really handy way to just save individual tracks, groups of tracks, maybe routings to some synths you have or some you know, mixer, whatever you might want to do. This is a really handy way to set it up. All you got to do is save your file that you want to make a template in the template folder and just open it from there. Hope this helps you. It's a big time saver. Enjoy. Enjoy.